Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you. This way. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack, then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and... Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics... Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Yo, what's up, Freeze Army? Welcome to another episode of Hitman Blood Money 100% Walkthrough. This is going to be called a vintage year, and we're going to be trying to do this on an assassin nice and easy as usual. So let's have a look at the mission briefing before we start, and the equipment. Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch. Alright, so let's go ahead and select our equipment. Uh, silver baller, shotgun, tactical. Now, I think what we're going to need for this one is the silver baller. We're going to use that as a knockout tool and nothing else. Um, we're not going to bother with upgrades for now. We're going to wait for that in future episodes. So yeah, let's just bring our silver baller along and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to be far barring both targets for this one. It's a, it's a nice and easy strategy. And it's the same strategy I used to use way back in the day when I used to first play this. So let's get into it. Now the great thing about Hitman Blood Money, there was so many different ways of doing things. But uh, for this way, uh, the first thing you're going to need is a disguise. I'm going to go grab this guy right here. And the best way to do that is go and pull out your silver ball, like, run up to him and use him as a, a hostage. And just knock him out with a gun. We're going to grab his disguise right here. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get end inside. And we're going to take out Dargado's son first. It's an awesome easy strategy I've found. As long as you're quick, obviously. But as long as you've got this disguise, you can run through all this section without any uh, any hassle or trouble. So he's going to be taking a line of cocaine on a uh, table, just around behind this wine cellar right here. And that gives us an opportunity to create a distraction. So we're going to pull out our coin, our trusty coin, and we're just going to throw it in the corner over here. And that, that should create a... Okay, he ignored it. Let's try again. <laughs> throw another coin there we go fucking pick that up go on all right so you can go ahead and take them out any way you want to really i'm going to use the fiber wire for this one nice and traditional all right come on let's do it click 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 what's going on there we go that's a little bit buggy there i was just spamming that but it wouldn't work all right and there's a nice convenient crate right next to us and we're also going to grab that tmp you're going to just holster that yeah, we're going to use the uh, convenient crate that's next to us. 
dispose of that, close the lid, and that's one target down. So we've got the one more target to go, and again, it's nice and easy. As long as you're in this disguise, it's pretty much the best disguise in this level, I think. Well, there's several ways to do this. I mean, you could you could go on the little tour that these guys are going on, plant a mine on the winch and explode a mine, and that will drop a basically a big huge, you know, big huge crate on top of the target. But that just requires a lot of waiting around, and I don't really want to do that. So I found running through this section here with this disguise is best. Climb up this pipe right here. And there's going to be a guard patrolling the area. Now, once we get up here, sometimes he can see you depending on where he is. But uh, we should be nice and safe here. We're going to climb through the window. And this is Dalgado Senior's room. So we're going to use the fireball wire for this one as well. Sneak up to him while he's playing the cello. And there we go. I love that you can actually take out people while they're sitting in a chair. On the current Hitman, you can't actually do that, which is really annoying. We're going to grab his snub nose as well, holster that, and we're going to drag his body and dump him over the ledge. I'm not sure if this makes a difference um, in regards to making it look like an accident or anything like that, but I'm not going to do it anyway, just to hide his body. Because why not? Now that's two targets down, uh, all we've got to do now is retrieve our suits and get out of here. So we're just going to go back the way we came, retrace our steps, go back to the guard that we knocked out right at the beginning of the mission, retrieve our suit and head straight to where the seaplane is. The only problem with this strategy is a lot of running around, like we've got to go back and forth now. Like we could exit to the right if we wanted to straight away in this disguise uh, for a nice and quick uh, run through this mission, but you do get uh, more money if you just retrieve your suits. I think you get a $150,000 reward or something like that. I don't know whether it's extra or not deducted. I'm not completely sure of the rules now. But I do know that you do get uh, less money if you don't retrieve your suit. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Plus it makes us look more professional anyway. So, you know, why not? So now we've got this disguise now, uh, our suit back. We can go ahead and circle around the map and head towards the seaplane. Again, like I said, strategy was easy, not so simple. It is only the first mission, though. It will get a little bit more difficult in the future missions. And, uh, yeah, but this, I found this one to be quite reliable. Just going through this, and you look at the side of the map. It actually is quite big. I mean, look at the back of the background and things like that. This actually is a huge map, really, when it comes to uh, the artwork and stuff. I love it. It sets the atmosphere perfect. I love the atmosphere in this game. It's definitely what sold it for me. The graphics aren't living up to today's standards, but overall the atmosphere and everything and how the game works and mechanics, it's just brilliant. I love this game. Hopefully you are loving this walkthrough and you can get more excited for future videos, hopefully anyway. This is a bit of an annoying part though, all the way down this section here. I think there's an elevator you can get through the chemical lab, but uh, obviously we can't do that with our suit. Can you ignore this guy? He doesn't bother with you anyway. There's going to be a guard here at the end here. We're just going to push him off anyway, just in case. And uh, with blood money, the difference between blood money and the current hitman is, is if you can kill anyone you want to, as long as it's an accident kill. And it won't affect your rating, which is really, really cool. But once we've escaped here, that will complete the mission. We'll get our son assassin rating. Bish bash bosh, bing bang boo. There you go, there's the rating screen there. No witnesses, no bodies found. One accident kill, two close combat kills, which is the far boy kills, and that's it. Boom, and then we'll have another look there. Silent Assassin. Zero notoriety. Notoriety, sorry. There's all our bonuses and stuff. And if we click continue, we'll see the newspaper at the end there. And uh, feel free to pause to read this paper if you want to. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. So th hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully this has helped you out if you are following this walkthrough. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And feel free to drop a like on the video. Subscribe here if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.